Hey, this is Kay with Oc Illumination. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a lunar effect in the My AI app. Once you select the My AI app, I want you to select your tank name, and it's going to bring you to your dashboard. Once in dashboard, you could hit effects on the bottom center of your screen, and then you're going to see lunar weather and acclimation pop up. One of the biggest mistakes people make, they just select lunar and turn it on and think it's going to run blues all night long. That's not the case. What it's going to do, it's actually going to take control of your entire schedule and dim it based on the moon phases outside. So if it's a full moon, your lights are going to be at their brightest. If it's a new moon, they're going to be completely off. If you just turn lunar on, you're going to notice the start time at the bottom and end time at the bottom both run from midnight. That's going to take control of your schedule for 24 hours. People commonly see their lights dim off around a new moon. That's because you probably have lunar on without actually setting it up properly. To set it up properly, you're going to turn it on and select a start time. That start time is going to be whenever you want Lunar to turn on. My schedule turns completely off at 6 p.m. So what I'm going to do is select 6 p.m. and run it for an hour till 7 p.m. Now that I click start time, I'm going to slide it to 6 p.m. and then edit my end time till 7. Once that's done, you're going to select back in the upper left-hand corner of your screen and hit control. That's going to bring you to your graph. Now we're going to add points to my graph where I want Lunar to take effect from. I have my Lunar turning on at 6 p.m. and turning off at 7, so I'm going to slide to the 7 p.m. mark. I'm not going to have a point on my graph here right now, so I'm going to hit the plus sign. Now that I hit the plus sign, you're going to notice all the colors are at 0%. I'm going to hit done and leave it that way because I want all my lights to turn completely off at that time. You're now going to notice a blue dot on the bottom of your screen at that 7 p.m. mark. That's perfectly fine. We're going to leave that as is for now. We're going to use that orange bar, slide to the 6 p.m. mark or whatever time your lunar is starting at, and then hit edit on the bottom of your screen. Now that you hit edit, you're going to see all the color channels pop up. Here's where you're going to be able to add whatever color you want lunar to take control of. I'm going to slide my royals, my blues, my violets, and ultraviolets up to around that 10% mark. Once I'm there, I'm going to hit done. You're now going to notice your graph changes shapes. It ramps down from 6 p.m. till 7 with just those blue lights. Some people like that just as is, and that's where Lunar is going to take control of, and that's fine. Others want it to plateau for a little bit, so if you want that to happen, all you need to do is slide that orange bar just before that 7 p.m. mark or whatever time you have Lunar ending. I'm going to do it about 10 minutes before at 6.50. Once I'm there, I'm going to hit that plus sign. All I need to do now is take that ultraviolet, violet, royal, and blue and slide to exactly where I had it at that previous point we just edited. Once that happens, you're going to hit done in the top of your screen. It's going to save that point. You're now going to have a nice plateau effect running blues for about 50 minutes of the night and then ramping down to completely off. You have now successfully set up the lunar feature on the My AI app.